beep, beep. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Ozimitsu and today I'm bringing you the next episode of my Evolution Solution series. For those of you unfamiliar with the series, it is when I compare a Pokemon with Eveline alongside its evolutionary counterpart. To get more of a feel for this series, you can watch my first ever episode of this alongside some of my previous episodes by clicking on any one of the annotations on screen right now. Alternatively, if you have annotations switched off or you are watching from a mobile device, the link to the respective videos will be in the description below. Today, as the title suggests, I'll be discussing Eveline Tangler and Tangrel. Let's not mess around and get this analysis underway. Looking at Tangler, it's a pure grass type, meaning it resists ground, water, grass and electric, whilst being weak to flying, poison, bug, fire and ice. Overall, moves it can get stab off has some good coverage. It also has some pretty decent stats and that respectable 115 base defense stat just gets better with Eeveelite. Its abilities also complement its stats ever so slightly. Chlorophyll doubles the speed of any Pokemon with this ability during harsh sunlight, so taking a look at Tangler's base speed stat, it can be quite threatening under the sun. It also has Leaf Guard. During harsh sunlight, Leaf Guard prevents a Pokemon from being afflicted by non-volatile status conditions like poison, burn, paralysis and even being afflicted by sleep with your if a Pokemon with this ability is drowsy due to yawn, if there is harsh sunlight, when it would fall asleep, the ability activates and keeps it awake. But it does however mean it prevents moves like rest from being used successfully. It's also prevented from being burnt with a flame orb and poisoned with a toxic orb. Its hidden ability regenerator restores a third of the Pokemon's maximum HP upon switching out. This adds to Tangler's bulk and can be viewed as very handy. You can do some pretty fun gimmicky stuff like switching out if you become poisoned, have your ally use aromatherapy, come back, restore some more health upon switching back in. I reckon all these abilities abilities are handy in their own right. If it were up to me, I think I'd like the Leaf Guard ability purely because of its defensive characteristics. Though, I can see this being more effective in doubles because that way you don't have to waste a turn setting up Sunny Day, especially if your ally has a Drought ability, so perhaps Ninetales or Charizard would be a very good ally. The whole point of giving your Pokemon Eeveelite is to provide defensive bulk, and I just feel Leaf Guard is a more suited than the other two. It's not to say you can't use Regenerator or Chlorophyll with Eeveelite Tangler, there are a plethora of ways of running it, it's all down to personal preference. In terms of what moveset to run, I've seen thinking of the following, Tangler obviously with Eeveelite, running the Regenerator ability, I'd run Sleep Powder with Leak Seed, Substitute and Giga Drain for Stab. The EV spread would be 252 in HP, 176 in Defense and 80 in Special Defense. An overall explanation for this is that Eeveelite obviously boosts Tangler's Special Defense and Physical Defense even higher. The EVs are just for bulk, Bold makes Tangler a better physical wall, Sleep Powder is to put your opponent to sleep obviously and stall them out a little bit more, Leak Seed is to drain the false HP away very slowly and very painfully and Substitute makes that even better. It's kind of like running a Subseed set. And with the Regenerator ability, you can set up Substitutes as long as you want. Giga Drain is for extra healing as well. And hey, it's Stab. Alternatively, you can run the following set. Run the Regenerator ability, give it Ingrain for healing, Leak Seed for more healing, Giga Drain for even more healing, and Sleep Powder for a free turn of more healing. I've also seen some people run Rage Powder, which is a bug type move Tangler gets access to. It is an egg move though, so get breeding. It works similarly to Follow Me, so Tangler's kind of the grass type version of Togekiss and Clefairy, in other words meaning it's freaking bulky. What makes Tangler compete with Tangrowth is the Eeveelite. They have almost an equal special defense base stat, so Eeveelite really makes up for it. With that good special attack already, Tangler becomes an unusual tank. Give it the sassy nature with 252 HP, 128 in special attack, 96 in special defense and 32 in physical defense. This moveset would work so well in doubles with Klefki, it would pose a massive threat to Mega Kangaskhan and Rotom Wash. The only downside to using Eeveelite Tangler is that you can't give it leftovers, an assault vest or another item. At least with Tangrowth, if its opponent uses knockoff, it isn't game over. It's also shut down by taunt users. But again, I always say in doubles, it is a different ball game. Perhaps your ally can provide you with the protection from that. For example, Aromatisse's Aroma Veil. Let's move on to Tangrowth. So Tangrowth evolves from Tangler if it learns Ancient Power. Tangler learns Ancient Power at level 38. There are no changes to its typing and its abilities remain exactly the same. So far, there are not many differences, but take a look at its stats. It's a pretty well-rounded Pokemon and already you can see a massive difference between Tangler and Tangrowth. Tangrowth has a superior hit point, attack and special attack stat, whilst Tangler can really take a few punches with its defensive buff. Due to Tangrowth's superior HP stat, it can really make use of the regenerator ability far better than Tangler can. In terms of a moveset for Tangrowth, what I was thinking is give it leftovers, obviously, give it the regenerator ability for extra healing, the sassy nature, and of course, Leech Seed, Infestation, Toxic, 
with Giga Drain. The EV spread would be 252 in HP, 252 in Special Defense, and the rest in Physical Defense. With this moveset, Tangrowth is not dying. Trap with Infestation, chip away HP with Toxic, and provide a constant drain with Leech Seed. You will slowly but surely drain your opponent's health. My only problem with this set is that if you are going to go for the stall game, you might as well pick Tangler because there's that extra buff. However, it can be argued that Tangrowth is quite the versatile Pokemon, so you can play it any way you want. If you wanted to go for more of an offensive moveset, what I was thinking is go for Power Whip for high power, Stab and decent PP, Earthquake obviously, Sleep Powder to put your opponent to sleep, and Knock Off to knock off your foe's item. The EV spread for this would be max attack, max speed, and the rest in hit points. Of course, you don't have to take that for gospel, but I think Tangrowth would be a pretty good physical attacker and a special attacker, so you can just keep your opponent guessing constantly. In summation, if you're looking for an assistive, supportive Pokemon, Tangler is your best bet. It is arguably better than its evolved form. The only thing letting it down is its susceptibility to Taunt, Knock Off, and Trick, but then it's bulkier, shares the same abilities, and can hit almost as hard if it's running a special set. Of course because its physical attack isn't great your foe will expect you to be running a special set so you need to work hard to avoid being predictable. Also I can't see it working well in singles at all unless your opponent allows time for you to set up a couple of gimmicks. If you want more of an offensive all guns blazing Pokemon opt for Tango. It outshines its predecessor in terms of versatility, can pose quite a threat in both singles and doubles and overall can make use of leftovers and its regenerator ability far more efficiently and effectively. If it were up to me I'd go for Tangler purely because I find it cuter and it suits my defensive stall playstyle. Thanks everyone for watching, I really hope you liked it, please share your support by giving this video a thumbs up if you did like it because it really really helped me out, subscribe if you wish to be notified when I upload next, links to my social media platforms are in the description below, but I'm Ozimitsu, until next time.